when you first get your Alaskan mill you will have a, a white box like this and you'll also have a se separate long box with the rails. So today we're putting together a 48 inch Alaskan mill. The tools you'll need are a 3 8 socket, flathead screwdriver, a knife or a pair of scissors and if you can get one one of these 13mm ratchet spanners. Okay so we open the box and that's what you'll be presented with. So this, uh, this dust, dust cover I'm going to put out the way for one sec and then I'm going to spread all these bits and pieces on the table so I can see exactly what I've got. Take the on-off bar. Get two of these bolts and slide into it. Take the tie bar, it's a thinner piece of metal. That goes on the on there. Try and get that right. So the bolts are coming through the inside parts. Take the handle. Then goes on there, like so. One of these locking washers. One of these larger nuts. Just screw that down hand tight. And you can see that there. On the other side, take another locking washer, pop him on there, take one of these nuts, it's nylon thread so that will need tightening. Into these, slide one of these. Okay, the handle you've just put together loosely. larger nuts. That goes on this end but without without a washer. Don't tighten anything up too too much yet, just sort of finger tight. And on this end we've got a similar nut but we have got a washer. He goes down onto there. Okay, take one of the end brackets, you should have two of these. Take two of these, these little bolts again. They slide into the end, like so. And we put the bracket in, like this. Now this bracket 
wants to be flush with the end of these thickness rails. So it wants to be square, squared up. The other one doesn't have to be, but this one does want to be squared up. Two washers. Same process for this end of the mill. Two more of these bolts. They can come in a little bit further down the mill this time. Again, your other end clamp. See again which way it's facing. Two washers. Again, just done hand tight for a sec. So, just take, check the orientation of everything. You can see that that's flush with the end of those two thickness rails here. This, at this end, it comes up flush. At this end, we can adjust this later.